This question is going to respond to a HSC question 11. Discuss the current religious landscape of Australia. In your answer, refer to the current trends within religious traditions. So the first thing that you'll need to ask yourself is which top dot point does this question address? It's, it's account for the present religious landscape in Australia. So we might ask which parts of this dot point does this question address? This question doesn't have any quotes or any uh, source material that limits the scope of those dot points. So rather than just being about one or two of those dot points, to answer this question you can refer to all of these. So just to break up the question, discuss means points for and or against. Trends indicates a change. It's decreasing, increasing, staying the same. Current means recent. This could be a comparison of before, say for example stats from 2006 or 2011 with the present landscape outlined in the 2016 census. Refer means that you need to include statistics to prove your claims of whether or not a particular trend is taking place. So whether there's an upward movement, a downward movement, or it's fairly static. I would begin a response to this question with the major findings from the 2016 census. The fact that no religion is continuing to increase, jumping from 22.3 to 30.1, in a five-year period between 2011 and 2016. You could go back a little bit further. Only 10 years ago it was at 18.7 percent. So include actual stats. Don't talk about the differences between the two. Another point that would be really relevant is that no religion has now overtaken the largest religious denomination in Australia which is Catholicism. Christianity as the major religion showing a continued drop. If you look at 2006, you've got 62.81, it, it's dropped quite significantly. So in kick-starting your response, those are the main findings. You have to talk about trends, you have to give comparisons of previous years, 2006 or 2011, uh, with 2016. Link with secularism. Look it up. What does secularism mean? Does this secularism account for that increase in no religion? And acknowledge Christianity is still the major religious tradition, but it's declining. You might like to dig a little bit further about trends within Christianity. In past years, um, the evangelical uh, faiths such as Pentecostalism have gradually increased perhaps through denominational switching. I don't think that is the case for the 2016 census. Mention the National Church Life Survey and see if it's got anything to say about denominational switching within Christianity. Can we account for those other faiths? You can't forget uh, Islam, Buddhism, Sikhism, Hinduism, you can mention Judaism. They are all part of our religious landscape in Australia. What accounts for that? Well, we know that it's immigration. If you're going to make claims about Islam growing, Judaism remaining pretty much the same. Hinduism, which is the fastest growing religion, if you're going to make those claims, again, you have to include statistics about those trends, whether they're growing or staying the same or declining. You also could comment on New Age religions, the fact that uh, people are more free to choose. People prefer uh, spirituality where they get to pick and choose parts of different practices that they like. Go back again and have a look at your notes. And now it's time to write that ideal paragraph. Remember, write your paragraph as succinctly as possible. Refer specifically to the given dot points. Use the language of the dot points. Include statistics of previous years in this question, 2006, 2011, to support your claims of decreases and increases 
and those faiths which maintain their status quo.